Okay, welcome back to this episode of To Catch a Star. We're, of course, in conversation with KK. KK, let's talk a little about your uh, music, your singing style. You know, what I've noticed personally is that a lot of singers, most of your contemporaries actually, um, tend to show off, tend to be fashionable in their singing, um, have a lot of their personal style in their singing. What I think is interesting about your music is that you're not very stylish in your singing. Um, you tend to adapt your voice um, to the mood of the song, which is why I think your music, your songs fit every Bollywood actor. Well, uh, just take it that little further, I would say a singer mm. is an actor in his own way. Mm. A lot of people would ask me this, uh, this question in different ways, you say you don't, uh, uh, you don't change your voice to cater to a particular actor. I said it's not important at all because an actor does exactly what I do. He acts that song out and I have to sing that song out, emoting the song. So for me, the lyrics play the most important part and um, each, each song has its own mood, like you said. Mm. And the most important thing for a singer to do is to catch the mood. Okay, very true. Now, um, I think most people will agree that you're really among the best singers working in the Hindi film music today. <laughs> I, think, I, think, I, think, I think our audience will agree. <laughs> However, um, I also think that you tend to be very low profile. I think you'll agree with me here. You're much, uh, you're much more low profile than say someone like a Himesh Rishamya or a um, Sonu Nigam. Hmm. Why are they perhaps bigger stars? I'll tell you one thing. It's like each person to himself. Like, you have to feel comfortable in front of the camera, you got to feel comfortable having thousands of people looking at you and you know whatever and the, the whole star space. For me that is incidental, for me I, I came to Mumbai from Delhi wanting to be able to do something better with my, my talent sure. and with the voice that God gave me, I haven't even learned music so I, I've gotten so far that thank God to that sure. because I need to connect to people deep down inside and for that I don't need to be plastered all over in any case. Okay. Yeah, I need okay. to connect through, to them through my music. Okay. Now, before uh, we go on any further, uh, by popular demand, a song from Gangster, a song that went on to become very popular. I think you know which song I'm oh, talking yes. about. Out comes the wand. Give us a few lines. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Tu hi meri shab hai, subah hai, tu hi din hai mera, tu hi mera rab hai, jahan hai. तू ही मेरी दुनिया तू वक्त मेरे लिए मैं हूं तेरा आलम कैसे रहेगा भला होके तू मुझसे जुदा आई यू रेडी ओ जोर से ओ वन मोर टाइम Whoa. Thank you very much. I read somewhere that uh, you were a big fan of Kishore Kumar while growing up. Oh yes, oh yes. Uh, when I was a little kid, I, uh, when I was singing in school, uh, I used to do this school, you know, intra-school kind of thing. And this teacher told my dad to put him into, आपको बेटा अच्छा गाता है, put him into music school. So I went for three days, and I just couldn't fathom or comprehend. I mean, this is, uh, I'm not trying to be condescending you know sure. the fact is I went there and I didn't connect to that idea of sitting with 100 kids and trying to learn music okay. because for me I had already been listening to Kishota right and I thought if you were to say if I picked up anything I would say it was a feel okay. he can emote or get into the song the gist of a song the vibrant of a song like nobody else can it's even a slow sad song it's a fast song whatever it is you know it's like it's as it was made tailor made for him right so the idea is it was born in my head at that time that if he could do it I mean, he's a great guy, okay? Right. Nobody can imitate him, he's the best. But maybe in my own way, I could just try to kind of start singing and emote a song. Sure. Rather than getting technical about it. 